The downside to lowering your car is hitting your exhaust on literally everything, unless you're extremely careful. And it looks like somewhere along the lines, one of the previous owners who had this car somewhere maybe took a speed bump or a curb or a rock and the exhaust manifold caught it head on and caused this huge dent. So I've tried to pull out the dent before by welding on a stud and trying to pull it out, but really didn't work that well. So let's get this pulled out of here and take a look at the damage. So with a pipe off the car, you can just see how large that dent really is. And I've always wondered, is that dent causing a restriction in the exhaust flow that's going to be robbing power? Guess I had exhaust leak too. So to test the idea of I'm losing power from this dent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of runs for in second gear from 1500 RPM to redline. And then I'm going to record those results, swap out the dented pipe, and then repeat the test and see if there's any difference in the time it takes. Hey look, new gaskets. Maybe it won't smell like tired on the way to the race. So here's the new down pipe, and you can tell no dents, so that's a plus. But the nice thing is, well I guess it's not so nice for the original manufacturers of the headers. But the nice thing about all these knockoffs on the market is that they've gotten really cheap, so it's only $40 for a new manifold and a downpipe, so really didn't send me back that much. And just one little thing, I forgot to tighten the oxygen sensor plug bolt and actually lost it on the way to the race. So if you're doing this on your own, just make sure to tighten that bolt up. So that looks a lot better than it did before. And I'm really excited to test this out. I'm thinking, or at least hoping, that I get some kind of benefit out of this. But at least it looks better. Alright, so here we go again. This time with the new downpipe and repeating the same experiment. So the flexible camera mount there made a dramatic zoom at the end. But already that run looked better than the other one did. So let's go to the spreadsheet and look at the results and see how it stacks up before and after. So what's interesting is that from 1500 to 2500 RPM there was this really large variation in the results. But after that the runs were actually really close to each other so it's reassuring to see that they're so close. There's not a lot of change. There. And then looking at the results after the swap, I almost wonder if run 2 was downhill because it was consistently faster than the other runs, so I almost think maybe I should remove that from the results before averaging everything out. And so in removing that run and then averaging things, what's interesting is that the new header is faster everywhere except for 4500 RPM. So I wonder what phenomenon is causing that where it makes sense that we remove the restriction and we get better flow but then at 4500 RPM it's almost like the dented header was causing some kind of benefit. So maybe possibly it's due to scavenging and maybe higher velocities due to the dent or some kind of weird bizarre thing going on. But it looks like the change did help out and it got some extra power there which I'm really happy about and I'm actually talking about the race that I went to after I installed this new header I did a lot better than I usually do, so I wonder if maybe that extra power was helping out. So thanks for watching, and hope to catch you next time.